this end. Gentlemen, shake up. Let's have a good ball game. Or bump up, whatever you want to do. Country Day wins the toss. They will receive. Charlotte Christian will kick. Gentlemen, your 2020 edition of the football varsity for Country Day Buccaneers. Alright, right here, Russell Tabor tries to make a run to the outside, tackled in the backfield for a loss by the Charlotte Christian defense. Alright, on the next play, Russell Tabor's running, rolling out to his left, looking for his receiver. Ball is picked off right here by Charlotte Christian two-way player number six, Mr. Tucker making a nice play for his defense. Celebrate when his teammates setting up his offense with the ball, taking over. Next play from scrimmage, two of miles looking downfield. Big hit right there by number 77, Spencer Mermans, who played a great game for Charlotte Country Day. Sets up the Country Day offense at the one yard line, the first and goal. And right here, next play from scrimmage on the jet sweep. Number 10, Reed Simmons runs it in, barely gets across the line, but he is in touchdown for the Buccaneers and they take a 7-0 lead. Tua Mala comes back, and there's Mr. Tucker on offense right there. On the hitch route, nice catch and run, first down. This is fourth down. Country Day defense stepping up, making a big stop right there. However, Christian gets the ball back. Tua Mala over the middle right there. First down. Now they're down in the red zone. Tua Mala keeps it. Touchdown over the right side of his offensive line. Celebrating with his teammates, getting a big score for Charlotte Christian, getting them uh, tied in the game at seven. Now Tabor, Cameron Ray, catch and run. Nice play, first down, ball is fumbled right there, but recovered by his teammate, number eight, Johnny on the spot. Now Tabor, this is an incredible play. Fake right, roll left, back across his body, deep post to number 11, Billy Balsam setting up first and goal. That's an incredible play right there. It shows the talent that Tabor has at the quarterback position. Right here, play action rolling to his left. Stops on a dime. Bullet over the middle. Hits the uh, receiver, Jordan Irwin. Touchdown, Country Day. 14-7, they lead. Now, to Amala coming back. Shotgun, getting pressure. Rolling to his left. There's Billy Balsam, number 11 again. Now on defense, another two-way player with the interception right there. Now... This is crazy. Christian was really just trying to run the clock out at the end of the first half here, but Henry Rutledge, that guy, once again, playmaker, bust a big one for 85 yards. Touchdown, Charlotte Christian Knights. This tied the game up at 14 right before the half, as you see right there. Going into halftime, we're tied at 14. Now, third quarter, Christian comes out the locker room on fire. Play action, first play from scrimmage. Tua Mala hits his guy going down the middle right here. Then, filling from the end zone, play fake, touchdown, gauge reel. I stood beside the cannon. I won't do that again. That was the big gust you just saw on the screen right there. Now, Tabor trying to get it back. Going deep. Ball is intercepted by Carson Chow. A Charlotte Christian. He, he made a great play right there, and Christian made a great adjustment. They locked up man coverage all second half. And um, they really slowed down what Country Day was doing on offense. Now, Tua Marlin comes back once again, but there's Spencer Mermans, number 77. Big sack once again. He's only a sophomore. My goodness. But Henry Rutledge comes back on the draw play. Bust another big run. I mean, he doesn't need much space, but he's going to the house once again. 60-yard touchdown run right there. Christian adds a field goal, 31-14. 6.53 left in the game. Country Day, though, we know they do not give up. Russell Tabor, look at this right here. Scrambles and hits this hurdle. My gosh, look at that athleticism. It was a penalty in high school. You cannot hurdle, but that just shows the athleticism this young man has. Country Day doesn't quit. Uh, Tabor hits Irwin for his second TD of the game. 31-21. They did get an onside kick, but the Christian defense stood up. Henry Rutledge puts the nail in the coffin right here with this first down run. That allows Christian to kneel it out. They'll move on next week.